Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me. We are back with new content. It's been a long time coming because, well, we've had a massive change in the It's All Me household with the addition of Dash, our little son. And today, Dash and I are actually going on our very first road trip together. We're going up to see my parents, his Mima and his Boompa. And I've never taken him anywhere out of this town before. We've only gone a few select places alone together, appointments and such. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. As you can hear, he's he's making plenty of noise. So let's check in with that, shall we? Hello, youngster. Let me get out of your lighting here. Are you uh, are you excited for your road trip today? This is your very first road trip. Are you excited? What do you have to say? Ooh, wow, this lighting is horrible. Let's go over here. What do you have to say to all the people on YouTube? Should we turn this off in case it's copywritten? What do you have to say to everybody on YouTube? Are you being shy? Yeah. Well, we're gonna head up, spend the day, and come back home and see mommy after work. Should we show them everything that we had to pack to make sure that you're uh, all well taken care of on our very first road trip away? Should we do that? I'll take that little grunt as a yes. You just keep playing, okay? All right, so this is what we all, this, excuse me, this is what I packed. We have a diaper bag full of diapers and wipes. We got a bottle and the warmer ready to go. We got some toys in there. Um, in here is a few things for my parents, but also our bottle brushes to clean his bottles after he feeds. We have his nap cam. This is a really cool cam. It's called the Hello Baby. It does not connect to Wi-Fi, which means that nobody can connect to the camera. We have some extra toys in here. This is his lounger. He takes naps in that sometimes. We got a bottle warmer. We got the hatch. This is a little noise machine. It makes white noise and such. He naps with that. He's uh, getting frustrated with the toys in the background. Got a soft blanket for him. We got a cooler with all his bottles. And then we got his pacifier and some extra toys as well. He is teething right now, so we have his teether penguin. And then obviously we have coffee and I have an energy drink in the cooler. All right, so now the goal is to pack all of this stuff up. Down the stairs we go. And let's get this road trip started, huh? Let's get this It's All Knee road trip started. All right, we are on the road. I don't know if you caught that little animal growl in the back. That was Dash. It is literally nap time, so hopefully he falls asleep quickly and gets a good nap in. Yeah? Anything to say? Ready to take a nap? Yeah? Okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Well, hey, we will, oh, big yawn, big yawn. All right, kids, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. 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 Dude, don't leave me hanging. Ah. ah. <laughs> He's falling asleep. Ah. Good night, Dash. Good night, Dasha boy. All right, road trip update. It's feeding time. So we are camped out here in Grand Junction, Iowa. A little classic Iowa town right in front of the Grand Junction pool. While Dash smashes a bottle. Yeah, pretty good. He had a good nap, 27 minutes. <laughs> All right, there you go, there's an update. That's what we're doing today. We're just stopping, we're rolling with the punches. Daddy and Dash. We are almost to our final destination. Uh, after our last update while he was feeding, that uh, quickly turned into something. He's been dealing with a lot of distracted eating recently. 
to where he just can't stay focused on that singular task of eating. You know, whether it's the window or, you know, a TV playing in the background, whatever it is, he just has a really hard time focusing sometimes. And he'd never been to the area that we were at for the feeding there in Grand Junction. So he was just looking all over the place. Well, then he decided to go ahead and drop a deuce. And my Impala is not the most poopy diaper changing friendly vehicle, but we made it work put him in the trunk in his old lounger and got him all fixed up. He did not finish his bottle, so when I put him back in his car seat to continue our trip, he was he was not happy. He was also very tired. Uh, so we fussed and we fussed, tried to figure out a bunch of different things to do, and finally hit the nail on the head when I turned on Demon Hunter. I should have known, he is my son, and it's in his DNA to love Demon Hunter. Uh, he's been to Demon Hunter, he was, he was at our uh, last Demon Hunter concert, um, growing inside of Cheyenne, so he's seen and heard Demon Hunter. So yeah, he's sleeping now. He's been sleeping for a while. We're almost to my parents, so it's going to be nice to get him out of that car seat because I know that he's ready to get out and just roll around a little bit. So it's been an interesting drive so far. I knew it would be. I knew that first time it would be uh, an interesting trip, but it's in these moments that we find growth we find out the areas in which we need to grow, especially for me as a dad and for me as a man and how I can uh, better serve my son and have more patience and more understanding and more grace with him. And so this has been a good thing and it'll continue to be a good thing. And, you know, I can look back on this day as a reference point for future things. So that's exciting and that's a, that's a blessing. So we are now in Rockwell City. You guys are all very familiar with this. So let's head to mom and dad's and continue on this day. Well, in typical only fashion, we uh, usually start off our days with food and then continue in the middle with food and then meet at the end with food. And as always, mother dearest has provided me with a wonderful breakfast. We got egg, it's like an egg McMuffin. We got sausage, cheese, egg, bacon, and then these are keto biscuits. I'm not on keto currently, but I still eat low carb um, to a degree. So I've got coffee and all that stuff. So we're gonna dive in and we'll see where the rest of this day takes us. Well, things got exciting very quickly because we're now taking another nap. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at how excited he gets. I know. That's so cute. 
I don't think you can open your eyes any wider. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna fly away with the little wings. Does. You got your wings going. <laughs> mm. We had fun, didn't we? Huh? Did we have fun, Dasher? You say bye bye. Bye bye, Boomba. Bye bye, Mima. Just as fast as we got here, we're leaving. Mm -hmm. We'll miss you. <laughs> you say bye to Boompa? He looks like he's waving, doesn't he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah. Wanna hold the camera? <laughs> mm, this looks like fun. This is fun. <laughs> Look at my nose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call this dash cam. <laughs> Say we'll get you updated later. Yeah. See you soon. You guys be safe. Okay. We are back in the Des Moines area, almost home. Dash, did you have a good day? Uh, not much for words right now. We had a little bit of a rough go on the way back. Had to pull over and give him a bottle because he was extremely hungry. Uh, got a decent 27 minute nap. It's pretty typical for in the car. But overall, um, it, today was a learning experience. It's my first time by myself on a road trip with a four month old. And there's lots of uh, opportunities to learn and lots of opportunities to grow. And we'll continue to do this because I want Dash to be a traveler and to know the importance of traveling and, and going to different places and seeing different places and driving to visit loved ones and things like that. And going out of your way to, to do that. Um, it's something that's very important to me. It's very important to Cheyenne. And uh, we want to instill that into our son as well. So, uh, as we get ready to head home, I just wanted to say thank you for sticking with me all of this time as we've gotten adjusted to this new life of, of being parents. Is for me, as being a new dad, being now a stay-at-home dad full-time, unless we're traveling. Um, so I just thank you for that. It means a lot to me. Thank you for all the support on uh, the Dash shorts. Um, he's He's been pretty popular on my channel, and that's that's amazing. I look forward to bringing you guys new content um, as I'm able to. I'm still figuring out how it's going to work in the midst of naps and feeding and playtime and errands and all that stuff. So just hang tight with me, bear with me. I appreciate your understanding and your graciousness. But on that note, thank you again. And as always, it is all knee and no foot. And we will see you in the next one.